Galatasa neighborhood of Bayolo district, located in the European side of Istanbul, by the shores of the Bosphorus Strait. As in many other areas of the city, this place also promises to offer some of the most outstanding views of the city, thanks to its privileged location by the shores of the Bosphorus Strait. In today's video, let's discover together Galata Port, an innovative cruise port in Karakoy coastline that is said to vitalize cruise tourism across an extensive region from the Mediterranean to the Black Sea and all the activities that visitors can enjoy. Galata and Karakoy have been home to different cultures over the centuries, for example, Jews, Genoese, French, Roman, Venetians, Ottoman, and others. In the early 1900s, around this area, there was a huge complex serving different purposes, including passenger terminal, hospital, and even post office. This complex expanded over the years. With an investment of 1.7 billion USD, this historical city harbor will be open to public for the first time in approximately two centuries. Galata Port Istanbul has transformed this historical city harbor into a world-class cruise port and touristic destination where visitors can expect to have a healthy and safe environment for culture and art exhibitions, dining, and of course, lots of shopping. This port is ready to receive 25 million visitors per year, of which 7 million are expected to be foreign tourists. The project is expected to attract around 1.5 million cruise liner passengers to Istanbul every year. This complex will also have an underground parking lot for over 20,000 vehicles. Galata Port is the world's first underground cruise ship terminal and per day is expected to receive up to three cruise ships and 15,000 passengers per day which to be honest, I really think that receiving, let's imagine that this port per day will receive 50,000 passengers. And of course, all of those tourists might go to the historical peninsula. That means Sultanahmet and maybe Taksim Square and Galata area. Istanbul, it's, a, it's already a very crowded city that even uh, just with us, I mean, we struggle with the traffic and even entering into places and finding places even just to spend the time. So I don't know about you but maybe uh, they will need to to limit a little bit this port so they can manage and handle all the people and tourists at the same time for example in my case i have also visited other cities that are famous for receiving cruise ships for example like dubrovnik dubrovnik it's a very small city in croatia but i remember a few years ago when we went there there were one cruise ship one or two cruise ships and it was impossible to visit the old town of course you cannot compare dubrovnik to istanbul because istanbul is three or four times bigger than Dubrovnik, but still, I mean, at some point they will need to regulate the passengers, the, quant the how many passengers are arriving in those cruise ships. So let's see what, what these, uh, this new port will bring okay. and hopefully everything will be great. So this place basically is like an open air mall, huge, huge place. Here it's a little bit over one kilometer and you can just take a walk along the seaside. You can uh, enjoy many restaurants, you can sit at any of them. As well, there are many shops. And of course, these views are some of the most beautiful in the city as well. Here we can see the Golden Horn, the historical peninsula, and also the other side where the Bosphorus Bridge is. So this is a great place for tourists if you just want to enjoy a nice walking through the shores of the Bosphorus, I recommend it. As we mentioned before, also this complex was made to host different exhibitions and this time we can enjoy one called Path Leading to Sea, offering a nostalgic take on Bayolu from the lens of Aragüler, 
one of the most known Turkish photographers who was also called the Eye of Istanbul or the Photographer of Istanbul. We can admire some of his unpublished photos alongside some of the iconic ones, organized by Aragüler Archives and Research Center. Also in this section, we'll be able to find the museum square of this complex. Here we can also find the Modern Art Museum of Istanbul, among other interesting places about art and exhibitions. So currently they are still working on them, they are under restoration, and hopefully very soon we can enjoy them as well. So this was our day exploring this new Galataport in Istanbul. Many of its sections are not finished yet, and also many of the stores are not open because it barely opened a couple of weeks ago. But once the cruise ships resume, of course this place will be much more crowded and mostly active to receive tourists and new visitors as well. So thanks a lot for watching our video and don't forget that if you want to keep receiving more tips and recommendations about Turkey and specifically in Istanbul, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you next time, bye bye.